In the final video in the series of three for the MBN Atlas tool, I'm going to show you how to download records. So I'm going to engage the filters tab here and search on the string Bombus. And I'm going to say I want to download all the Brom, uh, Bombus Terrestrious records from the MBN Atlas. I'll select that filter there, go back to the MBN tab, and I simply click on the download button. First thing it wants is a, a location for the file. It's going to create a, a CSV file for us here. Uh, and I'm going to take the default one it's suggesting there. And you can see it's popped out over to the Downloads tab now and it's showing me the name of the file that it's downloading. So while that's happening, I can carry on using QGIS. It sort of happens in the background. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to take off the um, filter there and I'm going to go to the data sets and I'm going to download all Bumblebee Conservation Trust records. Download again. It's suggesting a file name for me there based on the provider code which I'm going to accept. And now we've popped over to the Downloads tab here and you can see that this one is in progress. So you can use any combination of filters just like um, I showed you when I demonstrated these filters with the web map services layers but you can equally use these filters and any combination of them for downloading. Um, I'm not going to go run through those again uh, with you now um, so you get you get the idea of how to download the records. The last thing I'll show you in this very quick demo is uh, what you can do with those data. So when this little one from the provider comes in which it should do any minute it will change the symbol here with a green tick to show that it's down we're going to open that because it's just a CSV. We're going to open it with the biological recording tool. So I could engage the tool up here and then read in this CSV because I know where I've saved it. But there's a shorthand method from this tool. I select it and then I click this button down here. And it opens that using um, the uh, biological recording tool. So it's not a tutorial on that tool. So I'm just going to go and pick the grid reference. I've got the site the scientific name field selected there over to the taxa tab and load the tree. So this will now list all the unique taxa in that um, data set from Bumblebee, Bumblebee Conservation Trust. And I can expand them. So if I want to create a map for Bombus Decorum, for example, click that, click that. Another one, let's say for Bombsipnorum. So this is working with the raw um, records from the MBN gateway now, and I'm creating sort of on the fly here actual uh, shape files from the, those raw data. And here I'm just um, plotting the points, but of course I can use this tool to create um, grid maps if that's what I wanted to do. Okay, it's as simple as that. Knock yourself out.